Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making a healthy dish that is also very delicious. Greek style chickpeas and rice. Perfectly boiled chickpeas and basmati rice, seasoned with spices and served with herbs for a wholesome meal that will be ready in only 30 minutes. So let's begin! I love this recipe, I'm always saying that. It's the way that I'm starting almost 90% of my recipe. So let's begin, I love this recipe. This is also another classic Greek dish. As I told you many times, in Greece we have plenty of periods during the year that we have to fast, we are not eating meat because of religion. So legumes is um, basic um, ingredients in uh, a Greek diet. So we love chickpeas, I love chickpeas. Chickpeas for me is uh, the most uh, tasty legumes and I'm, I'm talking to you honestly. I cannot resist to chickpeas in any kind of recipe. So this recipe is quite easy to make and also nutrient-wise it's uh, quite complete because the only thing that missing from legumes is some aminos to consider legumes as a complete protein. So if you add some basmati rice or any kind of rice or quinoa or another carb inside the legumes, then the legumes is like you eating um, a nice cut of uh, beef, a nice cut of uh, chicken. So it completes the proteins of, of the legumes, the rice. This recipe is 100% complete for your diet. So let's begin to, to prepare everything. In 15 minutes, the recipe will be ready. So I need a pot on heat and I will add some olive oil. I will add um, a little bit of olive oil now and I will add more to the very end. I have two tablespoons of extra virgin Greek olive oil. I need some fat to caramelize my onion. And I have one onion here. I will cut it roughly into big chunks. You don't have to be perfectly chopper. Yeah, cut it like this. We will caramelize the onion. So if you caramelize the onion, it doesn't matter the size of the onion because if you give more time into big chunks, then the caramelization will be perfect. If you cut it quite small, then you need less time for caramelization. Now, onion goes in, then it's time for Mr. Salt and Mr. Pepper. Woohoo! Salt, pepper, and everything starts to make sense. And it's time for oregano. Oregano goes in, dried oregano. Now, turmeric goes in, some cumin goes in. You know that chickpeas and cumin are the best friends. If you want to add some curry paste or any other spice you like, you can add it. But for this recipe, I'm just using that. And as you can see, I have this lovely yellow color. That means that uh, my food is uh, very, very tasty. Now, it's time for bay leaf. Mr. Basmati rice. And if you want your basmati rice to be more sexy and not massy, you can wash it two, three times under cold water. But I want this massy texture, the very end, so I will use it as it is. And basmati rice goes in. And chickpeas, I have some uh, prepared canned chickpeas go in as well. Now, it's time for Mr. Water. And of course, it's time for the only ingredient not missing for this recipe, lemon. Lemon is the most important ingredient for chickpeas. Lemon and chickpeas are born to be lovers, really. If you have chickpeas without lemon, then you don't have chickpeas. Chickpeas, they're nothing than, than lemon. Uh, so the zest goes in and of course, the juice goes in. The exact quantities of the ingredients, you can find them uh, to my website. Uh, always, we're giving the videos, but my website is full of details, tips and stuff like that, that you can use for your Greek diet, your vegan diet, or any kind of diet you are using. And now, it's time for simmering. I will put the lid on. It's very important to put the lid on to steam the rice and actually cook it through. And um, since the moment that I will see the first bubble goes up, uh, then I will count about 15 minutes, one five. In 15 minutes, my food will be ready. And this is exactly, my friend Lakis, the amazing thing with the Greek cuisine. Everything is 
symbol. Everything is symbol and tasty. Everything is so tasty, nutrient-wise are so complete, and actually all the food is quite cheap. You don't have to spend all your money into food. You can do that if you want, but uh, you don't have to because you have all the nutrients you need in this amazing pot. In 15 minutes, we are about to serve, my friend. And my chickpeas are ready. This, ladies and gentlemen, called perfection. Look at this. Perfect food. So balanced and so sexy and so easy to make. And actually, with this pot, you can have at least six to eight portions of meal. Amazing. It's absolutely stunning. I want some fresh extra virgin Greek olive oil on the very top to take all this flavor of olive oil. Of course, freshly ground pepper. And lemon is always not enough for everybody. So I will add a lemon wedge on the side. To make sure that if somebody wants more lemon, the lemon is here. It is perfect, right? What do you think, Adelina? You want something more in this dish? You don't want the fork and start tasting this lovely thick peas and rice stew. Revitorizo. Revitorizo, we call it in Greece. It's hot. So few amount of cumin and turmeric can give all this flavor to this lovely stew. It's absolutely stunning. You have to make this recipe if you want something simple, very, very fast, very, very uh, quick, nutrition-wise, very, very complete, and of course, very, very cheap, because we use just rice and two cans of chickpeas. Uh, if you want more of these recipes, please make comments under in the video. If you want to share this lovely recipe with your friends, you can do it by sharing this lovely recipe with your friends. And uh, if you want to try this recipe, please try it and send me some photos to social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Viber. I am everywhere and I'm waiting for your lovely photos and lovely kalimeres, kalisperes or kalimiktes. Good morning, good um, uh, afternoon and uh, good evening. Until next time, I hope you are well and feel like a polar. Yes.